Hello everybody, Pi Studios back here in the 20 doors in 100 seconds world. Today, I thought I would give you a bit of a behind the scenes on all the stuff that happened because really there's quite a bit of stuff that you didn't see. And also, that sound that you may have just heard, just ignore that. Somebody keeps inviting me to play, but I'm not going to join because I'm trying to record a video. Um, so first off, you might notice this command block, all this does is teleport me right here. This just made it easier to get centered up and everything. Instead of you know, going in and you know, trying to move just right and everything. Of course it all got messed up when I moved up and had to, you know, move to avoid hitting the frame of the store and everything, but you know what? We'll we we'll just ignore that. <laughs> um this chest here also, um, I made this before I finished the map, and it is the end chest that you see at the end, um, all the way down there, and it's just full of, uh, light blue shulker boxes full of diamonds. <laughs> um, and I'm going to tell you, getting this chest to the end part was very difficult, so if you don't know, um, you can middle click items to pick up the chest, and if you control middle click, then it also picks up the items in it. So, I middle clicked on this, and now all of these chests are gonna have bricks. Um, now, the problem with that is what well, works <laughs> on shulker boxes. So, I'm gonna warn you when I Middle click on this, and I just did it. Um, well, basically, I get less than a frame per second, so <laughs> that was sort of a pain. And of course, it's even worse because I'm also recording now. <laughs> but that is that. Um, now for the odd section, I start out with a door, pretty simple, um, then a, a 1 by 2 piston door. The redstone is actually a little bit more complicated than you might expect, because it also is hooked up to a T flip-flop for that door over there, um, just since I realized after building that door, if I put the pressure plate here, it wouldn't actually open by the time I got there. Small oversight on my part. Um, Redstone is still very simple, and you can see when I go through that, we get the 3x3 piston door, and this was featured in a video a decent while ago, um, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> the redstone, yeah, uh, this is it. That's, yeah, <laughs> um, so after that... There is the 3x3 spiral piston door, my third video on YouTube. Um, I still am very proud of this design because it's awesome, and the timings are also customizable so that you can have it be longer if you want it to. That's, that's the wrong pressure plate. Uh, we're going to ignore that. <laughs> um... And yeah, I'm sorry, that no notification sound is very loud, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah, you can make it slower if you want to as well. Um, ah, jeez, I wish you would stop. <laughs> uh, next, we have these three doors, which are all hooked up to one pressure plate, and because I did sort of spam the... Um, what do you call it? Pressure plate. It did break this, so um, I just have to fix that. It doesn't break on its own. Um, but you get the three by three flush piston door, and then the three by three flush and seamless piston door, and the three by three seamless glass piston door. Apparently, this was also messed up. Ooh, and quite a bit. You know what? <laughs> That's fine. 
that is completely fine. I'm just going to fix this. You get to see me do redstone. That's why you watch my videos, isn't it? Um, great, now the bottom is missing. Aha. It needs to go on this side. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this out or anything, just watch. <laughs> I know, I'm a terrible person. So, now of course, I have to close all of them again, just to see it work. But you can see the closing things, the closing sequences, something you didn't get to see before. Um, dang it, I... why? And why did I do that? Okay. Well, this is the part where redstone is very annoying. <laughs> this should be extended downwards. I think I may have broken that something. This would go here. This would go here. These didn't extend at all. Hmm. Well, uh -huh. here's the redstone. It's actually not very complicated, but I, of course, just messed it up by spamming it and now can't fix it, so I just suck. <laughs> okay, that was closer, so it turns out this was on the wrong side. And I was sort of suspecting that, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I should have known with the blocks here. Anyway, three sand, three blocks, and... There we go, I think it's working. And that's all sand and not sandstone, and I don't even care about the sand out there. <laughs> so, there's that door. Um, like I said... <laughs> try to show you these opening and closing, or at least opening sequences a little bit better, and show you the redstone. Um, also, interesting thing here, I accidentally jumped one more time than I meant to on the slime block thing back there. Uh, I can't really see it in third person like I was hoping you could, <laughs> but um, I messed up. I bounced three times, and I meant to only bounce two, uh, just to jump over the slime blocks, but then accidentally jumped again. So, yeah. That happened. Um, anyways, this is the redstone for the flush and seamless 3x3. Three three. Uh, significantly smaller than the first one I made. Uh, probably smaller than the second one I made as well. Because this, I didn't watch any of my videos for this. I just made it now. Because uh, it's kind of like, why not? I don't feel like watching my videos. <laughs> I had to watch some of my tutorials for creating this. Um, there's that, and this, it's very, very simple redstone. Yeah. Um, so there's that. <laughs> then, back here, we have, uh, this one, which I managed to sort of sync up with music well, and I kind of like this thing, um... So, if you watch the video, you'll probably know this is the seamless slime block launcher thing up with the flush door. Um, so, this uses the seamless slime block launcher that I made in a video a while ago. I uh, really like that thing, actually. It's kind of cool and just slime block that pushes you up, then you don't see the slime block. Um, and then it's just a simple flush. 3x3 three three piston, or not 3x3, 1x3 three three, three piston door. So, slime block comes up, the door opens, and you go through here, and then you have um, this door. So, I think these are called hipster doors or something, although I also know hipster door is a different type of door, so maybe it's not called that. I really don't know if they have a, an official name, but... You know, instead of just being boring and walking through the door, you go under 
the door and come out the other side. So, oops, I just broke it. Yeah, I broke it. Nothing happened. Basically, it opens up, um, and that's on a pulse extender, so it'll open up for a while, and when you fall down, try to get in the right spot. There you go. Um, this tripwire hook will push up this slime block. Well, it won't push it up, it'll push it. And then that slime block pushes you, then you have another one push you, and then you get to the top. And it's all timed perfectly. So, yeah, the redstone on this one got a little bit complicated just because of all the timings. Probably could have made more compact if I tried, but, you know. And then lastly is the 3x3 three three hidden nether portal. Uh, this block is out of sync. Just a flaw with the design, I guess. Um, but I do like this creation, although I think someone made a smaller one, and uh, I guess I accidentally went in the nether, so... Um, I showed this world to a couple of my friends before um, making the video, and they were very confused at this part because the portal doesn't actually lead you back to where it does in the video, it just takes you back here. Um, so they like, tried going backwards and things, and, you know, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, what I actually did, um, and this is the redstone for it, by the way, but what I actually did was I hooked up... I didn't hook it up to anything, and that was never the plan, because hooking up nether portals is weird and annoying. So, originally... Oops. I accidentally pressed it again. Originally, I was going to go through there, then come back out and then fly over to the other side and go in the portal over here and then come back out this portal that was the original plan I just cut it to make it look right um, but obviously that's not what I did because when I came back well sometimes apparently not this time but sometimes I would come out the other portal. Um, so, I did... I couldn't figure it out. I think possibly the reason I was leaving the port was that I was re leaving the portal open. So, what I ended up doing was this. Went into survival. Went here, got ready and everything. And then... Uh... No, I think it would be this command. Type this command, end up in here, and walk through before I got sucked in. Um, nah, then, there's the even section. So, um... Oh yeah, by the way, the reason there's two of these is because I was trying different locations because everything was being weird. Or I thought it was. Um, anyways. So you have the two by two uh, doors and interesting note. One actually powers both of them because... I didn't want to accidentally, you know, be on one side and or something, so there's a little bit of redstone involved. Um, and it's the same with the next one. Um, and that's because it runs here, then I go off only onto this one. And if that one closed, it would just sort of disrupt the flow. Um, so this was just sort of a cool idea. You can do this using three doors, which is, you know, how many doors you get when you craft a door, so I guess that's good. Um, but doors will default to right, unless there's one to the left of it. It's like this one face left because there's one to the left of it, but it'll default to right if there's one to the left, to the left and the right of them. So all of these are facing right. And using that, you can create a door facing left, break this one, and then right here, Create door facing right. And there you go. So that's how that worked. Um, next, we have the 2x2 two two spiral piston door. And I actually made a video on a 2x2 two two spiral piston door. I think I released it yesterday. Um, it's one, it's a little bit different, just a different input location and stuff. But yeah. Um, 
then you have the 2x2 two two flush piston door. And this was one of the first things I ever tried making in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Because, you know, um, having experience in Redstone on the Java Edition, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, if it works on the Java Edition, now that they added pistons in Pocket Edition, it'll work, right? But no, because they don't have quasi-connectivity. And so this simple redstone creation just didn't work. Plus the fact that they're too slow to actually pull the blocks back. Anyways, that made creating a 2x2 two two flush piston door significantly more complicated. I think I actually watched a video to do it. Probably, uh, uh, I think Cube Hamster probably had one, and I think that was who I watched. But that's not really important, is it? <laughs> uh, this I just created myself, and that was my goal for these. Oops. Yeah. Um, then we have a flush and seamless 2x2 two two piston door, and I'm going to admit I didn't design this one. I made a video on a flush and seamless 2x2 two two piston door quite a while ago, but uh, I didn't design this one. I'm not sure who designed it. I've seen it from multiple different channels on YouTube, so I'm not sure who copied it off who. Anyways, I it's something that I learned when I made mine because I realized, oh, this one's actually better than mine. I'm not as awesome as I thought it was. And I've just remembered how to make it since then. The next door is my least favorite door in this thing because it is the, literally the worst 4x4 piston door ever. I am not joking when I say the first 4x4 piston door I ever made for Minecraft Pocket Edition was better than this one. I'm not even sure how that works. This is terrible. It uses slime blocks, and it's four wide and insanely long and all sorts of stuff. And at the end, I'm going to show you a video um, where... Or not a video, a better 4x4 door that I made recently, in case you're interested. But... And I was considering changing this one to be that one, but I just wanted to get this video out, so that's why I didn't change it, and of course the redstone is terrible. I I'm, can't believe how bad this is um, in... Like I said, I didn't want to use anybody else's door, so that's why I made this one myself, but yeah. Um, if I make another one of these, I'm probably going to do a 4x4, four four and it's going to be a lot better. And I didn't actually show you the opening and closing sequence. Apart from being super uncompact, it's also slow. So, yeah. Uh, then there is the 7x8 uh, sand door. Yeah, sand door. Uh, or now in the new versions concrete powder, because concrete powder is gravity affected and it makes these things look so much better. And I made a video on this. Um, it's uh, one of my favorite doors. Probably not as much as the flush and seamless 3x3 piston door, just because that is like the best video on my channel. It is the most liked one, and maybe not the most liked, the most viewed, and I worked really hard on it, and I really liked it. Um, so, this is not my favorite tour, but it's definitely up there. Um, also, I'm not sure when I started just giving you a bunch of information about all of these doors. First, I was just talking about the door and showing you the redstone, and now I'm giving you history. Anyways, then we have the 4x4 four four, double-sided seamless super fast 
four by four volt door. This is like a super awesome four by four volt door. I mean, it's very fast, very compact, seamless, and double sided. So, I mean, I even made the double sided in this world when it didn't need to be. But it's it's just awesome. Like it's you see how fast it is. <laughs> It's great. Um, on the redstone, as I mentioned, very compact. Um, so, next, we have another one of my favorite doors, the seamless 6x6 six six volt door. I wanted to make one of these for a really long time because I saw someone do it on PC, um, and I thought, wow, that's awesome, I want to do that <laughs> for Pocket Edition. And eventually, after multiple failed attempts, I did, and the result, I think, is really good. It, I think it looks great. It's obviously seamless. Like, just... It's awesome, and it looks really complicated, which, of course, makes me look cool. So, you know, I'm not complaining there. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I mean, how wide is this thing? Six? <laughs> yeah. And then the last door. And I also failed a little bit on this one. Um, rich Well, I failed in a couple of ways. Originally, I was going to build a 4x4 trapdoor. Just a standard 4x4 trapdoor. But I decided, you know what? That's too hard. I made a video on a seamless or flesh and seamless 2x2 two two trapdoor recently and I'm gonna use that because laziness <laughs> so yeah you can't tell it's there and then it's there and so originally I was gonna shift up to the edge um, and then I was gonna you stop and look around a little bit before deciding to go in like kind of like do I have any other choice but to go down here um, but the problem is that in Pocket Edition, if you shift on the edge of a block, you fall off. Because, you know, Minecraft is dumb that way, even though you don't on the Java Edition. So, that sort of messed everything up, because I went here, and then I fell in. But, you know, it wasn't too bad. And then, of course, I took the shulker box, got the diamonds, in third-person mode something. Wait, where's... This isn't... How did I do it? No, it would have been like... Okay, wait. This this is what it was like. Also, um, the, rich, the reason I did survival instead of adventure here is because I actually need to be able to place this, so that's why you see a highlight on the second part, but not the first part, because I changed it when I did the nether portal thing. Um, after a practice run where I couldn't actually place the shulker box. Yeah, so I got all the diamonds, and I was happy. Yay! I didn't jump, because that just doesn't work in this room. <laughs> but, thank you for watching. Um, now you know all of the craziness that went into this video. Um, not just the redstone, the editing was also terrible. <laughs> well, it, it looked good, but I had to sync up the music, which I think turned out really, really good. Really well. I think it's really well. <laughs> but, thank you for watching. That is all. Bye. I accidentally tried to exit the world instead of exit the recording. Imagine! how long I would have gone without realizing I was still recording. Just gotta say.